Hello everyone, welcome back. I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, Kyle Rittenhouse, the Kenosha shooter. Um, his trial is currently ongoing. Uh, I don't know what the outcome of it is going to be, but so far, um, it, it seems to me like there's, like, 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 not only has the defense established a, a clear case for self-defense, but the prosecution has also established a clear case of self-defense through the witnesses that they provided. Um, but uh, that's not what I was going to really focus on here today. What I wanted to do is uh, uh, this video is really um, targeted uh, towards the moderate Democrats, the ones that are kind of like in the suburban areas. Um, and, uh, you know, my question to them is if there is a riot in their area, right, in their neighborhood, who is going to come and, and protect them, okay? Um, it's not going to be the police, right? Police are trained that if there's a violent situation, they respond with overwhelming force. If they if they don't feel that they can respond with overwhelming force, they do not enter that 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 area. They establish a perimeter around that area um, to contain uh, the violence within that area. And if you happen to be inside of that perimeter, you are on your own. You got to be able to defend yourself, defend your family, defend your kids. Okay. Uh, so, so the police are not going to enter a riot zone. Um, they only respond to situations where they know they can, that they know that they can safely enter or relatively safely enter. If the situation is completely out of control, like I said, they're just going to establish a perimeter and try to keep that violence contained. Okay, so, so the police are not going to go there. Uh, I'm not going to go there, right? People like me aren't going to go there because basically we're businessmen, right? Uh, you know, in in my mind, I'm thinking, all right, um, how do I, how can I keep myself alive? Uh, so that I can get back to my house and protect my family, okay? So I'm thinking about my family. I'm not thinking about your family, okay? Um, now, um, I am interested in protecting my immediate neighbors, right? Because if somebody, uh, let's say, burns down my neighbor's house, all right, um, there's a good chance that after they burn down his house, they're going to come burn down my house, okay? Uh, so I have a vested interest in keeping my, 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 my immediate neighbors safe, but... Um, I would not, I would not uh, venture out beyond walking distance. Okay, um, so I'm only interested in protecting my immediate neighbors and my family. Okay, um, so I'm not coming to save you. Okay, uh, if you're one of those moderate Democrats that we're addressing here in the in, in the suburbs. Okay, so so who is who would be the type of person um, to to uh, you know to, to travel, okay, um, to to your neighborhood and and protect you? Okay, well. Who does the military recruit? They recruit 17, 18 year olds, 19 year olds. Why do they recruit them? Because these are the type of people that are willing to take those type of risks. Okay, um, I wouldn't do it. Uh, most other people in you know at this stage of life that I'm at or, or close to it are, are not going to do it. In fact, most m the majority of police, you know, they, most of them, right? Um, if you look at any police department. Uh, you're going to have a small number that are going to be in their early 20s, but most of them, you know, they tend to be in their, you know, 30s to their 40s. They've al they already have their own families, right? They're, you know, to them, the job is a means of uh, supporting their families. And if, if they get killed, uh, then the job is kind of useless to them. So they're not going to take unnecessary risks. They're only going to enter a risk situation that they feel that they that there's a, that there's a high degree there's a high chance that they are going to um, you know to, to be able to survive it okay they're not going to take unnecessary risk uh, it's the 17 year olds 18 year olds 19 year olds that take those kind of risks and again that's why the military uh, really targets them um, you know my personal opinion is that hey if, if you're not if, not if you're not old enough to, 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 to buy a beer if you're not old enough to buy a pistol or rifle uh, the military does not deserve you, right? You, sh you should not be, um, you, you know, you should not be taking those type of risks. If 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 if, if, if the government deems you a child, right, not old enough to to you know buy alcohol or buy guns uh, or engage in other adult activities, um, you know, then you are a child and you should not be defending adults. Okay. Um, but that's that's kind of like a side note. Okay, so so this message is is kind of aimed at those moderate Democrats um, who look at Kyle Rittenhouse as you know let's say a wannabe cop or a vigilante. Okay, uh, but keep in mind that that's the type of guy, okay, that is going to come and save your ass. You know when you're inside that right perimeter that the police are not entering. 
Okay, um, and you know, and in all these cases where there were riots, I mean, that's exactly what the police did. They established a perimeter. All right, they contained the violence within that perimeter. Whatever happened in there, hey, you know, you're on your own. You know, you know. Um, you, know, you probably have a better chance of surviving of pretend, you know, pretending that you are one of the rioters and going along with the riots. You know, just so you can, you know, so that they don't they don't think that you're not one of them and, and kill you. you know, I, I really don't mean that, you know. But if the police aren't going to come save you, um, you know, people like me aren't going to come save you because I got other responsibilities. Uh, the incentive is taken away from people like Kyle Rittenhouse to go in there and protect you. What are you going to do? Okay, you better be able to defend yourself uh, because you're on your own. Okay, so uh, just some ideas out there. I'm not saying that they're even 100% right. It's just what my thoughts at the moment. Uh, you know, watching, uh, you know, watching pieces of this trial. I'm not watching the whole thing, but I, I've seen some of the key points about it. So uh, drop some comments. Tell me what you think. If you think I'm wrong, by all means, tell me I'm wrong. I mean, I, you know. Um, you know, this is how I feel at the moment. So, uh, if you're not a member of my channel, subscribe, hit that bell button so you get notifications. I'll talk to you soon.